You know, I really like tea. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video on Grand Theft Auto 3 The Definitive Edition. So last location video we got all the, um, what you call them, hidden packages, right, in Portland done. The first 31 that were available before we did the missions and unlocked Staunton. So now that we've unlocked Staunton, we're going to pick up where he left off and we're going to be starting with a 32nd package. And for that, I actually had to go back to Portland, which I don't really care to do very much because now the gangs are chasing me around and stuff. But there's one here in the subway that we have to go down and grab. So, yeah, see, there he is. He's chasing me with his little bat. Okay, so I'm just going to drive down here real stylish. This was blocked. You couldn't even go up here until... Do I have to go up here? Is this it? Nah, this doesn't go anywhere. Okay, yeah, you couldn't even... Yep, there he is. You couldn't even go down here because this whole area was, like, blocked off by this wire fence. But now that Staunton's unlocked... You can go down here just as easy as you please. And right over here near the bathrooms is package 32. Okay, and so for this next package, number 33, we're back here in Staunton. And I'm over near the docks where the, uh, what's this girl's name? Asuka, I think? Yeah, where her mission is, right? And what we need to do here is grab a boat and go down here to this little white area. Because that's the island where uh, <laughs> the next hidden package is. So this one's going to be a little bit more tricky to get to. I think they got some nice cars down here. All right, I don't really want to go particularly go over there and say hello to her just yet. Oh, no. Okay, I don't really want to get uh, in the water either. Oh, man, I didn't actually even know you could use the boats in this game. That's actually pretty cool. Honestly, the more I play GTA 3, the more it reminds me of Saints Row 2. This boat's actually pretty fast. I mean, I knew you could ride the boat since we did, like, from Portland to Stalin, but I didn't know you could, like, pick it up and free mode until today going and grabbing all the little collectibles and stuff okay i need to put a little mark on the island it's actually not that far like it looks a lot further than it actually is because you can go really quickly in this boat okay so this is the island right here so i'm gonna try and find a place to run our boat around there it is there's the package see i don't want to press f to get out of the boat and then find out that oh I got out into the water and I'm about to drown because that would stink. Yeah, kind of like this. Okay, see, I did it. See, I'm a I'm a brilliant man. I don't know what you guys are talking about. That was that was great big skills. That's package number 33. Woo! All right, so now we're back to more of the regular landlocked, easily accessible packages. So the next one's going to be up here at the top of the map in Staunton to this little uh, warehouse looking area. So we're going to drive in here, and I think it's behind this building. Let me go check real quick. Yes, good deal, number 34. Okay, so the next one is actually really close by. It's over here. Going to drive over there and show you guys what I'm talking about. So over here, you see those rock star signs? Those actually look really cool. Like in the original game, you could see them, and they were legible and everything, but now they're all like brightly lit up and stuff. That's actually pretty lit. Okay, so behind this one, it's our 35th package. All right, so this next one is just down the street from that stadium. You can actually kind of see it over there. This side is apparently some sort of hospital, I guess, because this is probably where you'd spawn if you die, because there's ambulances and everything over here. Yeah, there's a heart thing. Yeah, this is definitely going to be the hospital for Staunton. So for this one... The package is up there on the roof. So I'm going to back this up real quick. Hold up. Well, I'm not very, I'm not great at parking. <laughs> Hold up. Come on, man. Don't make it hard for me. Come on, man. It's an ambulance. All right, you got this. I believe in you. Come on. There you go, brother. All righty. So the next one is over here at the stadium again. And I drove my little bus over here to these stairs. <laughs> so let's go ahead and run up here. And wow. Man, you can really see the stars well. Oh man, I actually can't go in here. Oh, that would be so cool if I could climb over this and get in there. I wonder what's in there if it's like a big football field. Alrighty, so our next one is going to be over here down the street. And right here near this big old blue sign. St. Matthias University. Who's shooting at me? What the hell? I don't, I don't even know who these guys are. Why aren't you attacking me? I'm just here to get the collectibles. Run, run, 
Okay, it's down here. It's down here. All right, I'm getting shot at by hoodlums. Okay, number 38. Let's try and get away. Go to the hospital, get some health. Okay, so our next pickup is going to be down over here. And we're going to be in this little construction yard. And for this, we want to walk up here. It's kind of dark, but I mean, I am going here in the middle of the night. Maybe if you go here in the daytime, it'll be more lit up. Actually, abandoned construction yards are kind of creepy at nighttime. You never know who's going to pop out at you. Homeless hobos or whatever. All right, got some armor. Got package number 39. Okay, so our next package is going to be right over here near where we got our next one. I'm going to use up some of my armor by jumping over this. Oh, I can't jump over this. Oh, that's disappointing because it's literally right there. Oh, never mind. I can. Okay, and I only use three armor. That's even better. Okay, there you go. Easy as pie. Oh, wait, what's it telling me? Shotgun delivered. Oh, awesome. We can get the shotgun in our crib now. Oh, that's going to be exciting. I love carrying the shotgun around. It is very, very effective. Seriously, I can't use this truck. Alrighty, so the next one's going to be over here near the bridge between the water here and this one. You're actually going to have to climb up the side a little bit. So, kind of crazy that you, we can actually do that. Can we do that in real life? Or would that not be possible? I don't know. I feel like there'd be... No, I guess you actually could if you weren't absolutely scared of heights. You know? And yeah. Sure. You could you could technically do that. Okay, 41 out of... No! Okay, so going back to the construction yard for a moment. Apparently, we need this truck right here. That was locked. Apparently, it's not always locked. Hold up, can I get inside? I can. Okay, awesome. Apparently, we actually need this vehicle to access the area to get to the next uh, package. So, give me a sec to get over there. Okay, so this is the location that you need to take this vehicle to. And so, this gate here apparently only opens to this vehicle for some reason. So, I guess it was either do this or grab an ambulance and then try and jump over it, but you know, when you have the vehicle and it's accessible, why not just do that? Boom, package 42. Okay, so here's the next place. We need to go into this parking garage real quick. So I'm just gonna park here across the street in the middle of the road, mind you. We're just gonna run over in here. And we need to go up here to the next area and go over to the left. Here it is, number 43. All right, so now that I've walked out of the parking garage, I'm gonna drive around behind it to get to the location for the next one. Which should be over here. Yeah, I think that's gonna be one of those garages. We're gonna have to find this on ramp though. There it is. Okay, actually no. It's over here. It's not up there. It's over this way next to this orange car. There you go, there's number 44. Okay, so right over here is the next one. And you got the uh, the package right there. So in order to get up that high, I don't know why that guy's chasing me down. <laughs> Let's go up here real quick. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Okay, never mind, I'm good. All right, we're gonna go up here. We're just gonna get out, walk around a little bit, and uh, hop on down that roof. There we go. Okay, see, I only lost three health, I'm fine. All right, boom, number 45. Alrighty, I took a little break, but here is package number 46. Coming back to it now. I'm in my taxi cab, we're right across the street from the fire department here. And the package is over here in this alley, so I'm just gonna run across the street and avoid getting run over, hopefully. Nice, so that's number 46. Alrighty, and now we're gonna drive right here down the street. And we're gonna go under this bridge. And here is number 47. Conveniently close to number 46. Alrighty, so the next one is over here, right behind that little overpass where we were just under. Back here in this park, go behind this cabin, and there's a basketball court. And this is, uh, oh, there's another car. Okay, this is their number package 48 is. Alrighty, so number 49 is down here while we're down in the park. You go over here, go under this bridge. That is where you will find it. Okay, so this one is number 50, and this one is like right below where we first started. So this is another pier. And okay, for a second, I don't know why I jumped all those stairs. For a second, it kind of looked like I was gonna fly down them. Nice. I really like what they did with the water in this game. It looks pretty good. All right, and there is patch number 50. Oh, what do we got? 
Body armor? Sweet, we got body armor in our crib now. Oh, that is gonna be awesome. Alrighty guys, so if you've been following along with the guide, we're now halfway done with all the packages. Since there's 100 in total, we've now done 50. So number 51, we're gonna start off on this big old road out here. And I got my taxi cab very conveniently placed. And we're just gonna hop right over here. And okay, I lost a couple of health points, no big deal. That's package number 51. Alrighty, so right here is gonna be number 52. It's right here in front of this uh, museum, I think. So. We're gonna go up here, go right behind these pillars, and here we go. All right, so right over here is the third pier that has a hidden package on it, and I don't know why they enjoy hiding their packages out on these piers, but they do for whatever reason. Oh, here I am flying down the stairs again. How did I lose health for that? What an odd thing to lose health on. All right, it's this one right over here, the third one. Here we go, I almost fell in, that would've been bad. I can't swim, I never learned. Alrighty, so the next package is going to be right over here. We're going to get out of our very beat up car and go down here. So we need to go behind the police station. Now that gate is not going to open unless we go in a police car. But thankfully there's one right here, so that's all well and good. Alright, good deal. Go up behind here. Oh, there's a police SWAT vehicle truck. I think I might want to drive one of those. Then again, the police car is really fast and cool. I think I'll just stick with my police car. Alrighty, so the next one is gonna be right over here, behind the police station. We're just gonna wanna jump over this wall if we can. We're gonna wanna fall down here. Kinda hurt a little bit, but that's okay. And here's the next package. Boom, number 55. Our next area, this is gonna be this church right here. We're gonna wanna go behind it. And the next package is gonna be back here. So the next one's pretty easy to find. It's just right here, right in the back of this alley. So you're gonna to wanna to walk all the way to the back. Which is weird, cause you kinda of can't see it from a distance, but as you get closer, it just kinda of pops into view. So that's interesting. So the next one is gonna be down here in this parking garage. So I'm gonna just walk down here. I could drive down here, but walking's easy enough. Okay, so right over here, just basically down the street from where we just were, you can actually see this package up here in this window. And obviously the way to get through there, or to get up there, is to shoot this out. And then you can just run up stairs. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, so now we're done with that one. We're gonna go back over here to this uh, little parking garage area. I could just drive around, but instead of doing that, making life easy, I'm just gonna jump up here. Okay. okay. All right, good, oh, oh, all right. Um, no, that's not quite what I had in mind. My goodness, man, can you just, okay. You know what, you've lost your jumping privileges for the day. Okay, so now that I've gotten around, we're gonna go up these stairs and oh, there's a rampage. I'll have to remember that's here for later. We're gonna go up these stairs, gonna go up all the different staircases. Then right here is our package. All right, what do we get for 60? Molotovs, let's go. Alrighty, so we want to start north of this little corner that looks like a slab of cheese. And there's going to be this blue building right over here. Then over here on this right side of the street, we're going to want to go down here underground. Good deal. They turned on the lights for me. Wasn't that considerate? Alright, then here in the back is my package, which I need to get out for. There you go. Alrighty, and after you are done in the downstairs parking garage, you're going to want to drive over here. And you can find the next package right here. And then there's another one real close to it. I wanna go over here to the left, go back behind this building in the parking lot. Man, that's some bright looking graffiti. Okay, here we go. I think I'm gonna swap cars while I'm back here. This one, this one has seen better days. Okay, so going back to that parking garage from earlier, we're gonna go back behind it. We're gonna go up these stairs here. We're gonna do our best not to go off the edge. Let's see if we can get out real quick. Here we go. All right, let's hop up here. Hold up. Hold up. Come on, dude. Oh, come on. I asked so little of you. Okay, I finally did it. All right, that's how you get up here, and that's how you get this package. It took forever. All righty, so here's the next one. It's going to be right here on this bridge. I'm going to go up here, and there you go, number 65. 
Okay, so this next one is gonna be over here, and it is behind this really ugly modern art statue. Boom. Okay, so the next one is gonna be right over here. We're in front of this casino, Kenji's Casino, right? It looks amazing. And here's the thing, this package is kinda sucky. All right, you're gonna see why. Now, you see, we walk up all these stairs, and we walk back here, right? And then we're gonna walk up even more stairs. And you might be thinking to yourself right now, Oh, I get it, Kess. The reason this one is sucky is because of all the stairs you have to take. And no, that's not it at all. It's because up here you find this helicopter and you find the package too, but you find this helicopter and we can't fly it, okay? There's no way to fly this thing and that's kind of sucky. Now I can walk into it, right? It's like so, but I cannot fly it. And that's kind of a shit. Can I blow it up? How do I only have a shotgun? Where's all my weapons? The verdict is no. Okay, so the next one is gonna be in the lower left-hand corner over here, all right? And now you see a pier in the distance. I know what you're thinking. Oh, Kess, there's a pier. Why, why would there be another pier package? And this isn't a pier package, okay? It just looks like one. It's actually over here behind this rock, all right? And yes, I know I have a long way back up that hill. I should have taken my car down here. Alrighty guys, and that is it for all these Staunton Island hidden packages. There are more over in Shoreside Vale over on this part of the map, but we haven't unlocked that part yet. So I'm gonna wait until we do the missions in Staunton, then unlock Shoreside Vale. There is a way to get to it early by driving your car through the subway. And while I could do that, there's a certain uh, package over there that's just not accessible until they lower the bridge. So I'm gonna wait until they do that, and then I'll make a third part to this guide showing you how to get the remaining 32 packages that are in Shoreside Vale. So thank you guys very much for watching this. If you found this useful or at the very least entertaining, please leave me a like. Thanks so much for being a part of the channel, being a part of the community, I appreciate you. And yeah, until next time, I've been your host, Kess Gaming, and I'll see you all at the top.